Hi everyone, it's Alex here from Iridescent Women and I'm so excited because today uh, joining me is Kayla Johnson and Rachel Stonehouse. Uh, they are the co-authors of a beautiful new cookbook called Rising Hope and this cookbook is actually uh, comes out of a bakery in London, Luminary Bakery, which is a social enterprise uh, supporting and empowering women and so I can't wait for you to hear about the, the cookbook itself but also this incredible bakery doing uh, wonderful things in London and uh, joining me uh, from London all the way uh, via Zoom today is uh, Rachel and Kayla. So I'm Kayla. I uh, am the comms officer um, at Luminary Bakery and um, I also um, with Rachel we kind of collaborated on writing the cookbook and I did mainly the stories and the copy that goes with those stories. Yeah, so I'm Rachel um, and I've been with Lumo for quite a long time. <laughs> so we're basically almost since the very beginning. As Kayla said, she kind of worked on the story part of um, the new book, but I worked on the recipe part. So bringing together and kind of collating all of the women's recipes that are in this book and making sure they're delicious um, and kind of really easy to do from home. Um, and then kind of working on the luminary recipes as well. So we're a social enterprise, um, so we're both a business and a charity, um, and it was kind of designed in order to um, give women that have experienced lots of disadvantages um, and have experienced kind of gender-based violence um, and are really struggling to find work. Um, it's sort of designed for them in order to give them a safe place um, and a professional environment to train, to learn a new skill um, and to become more independent. We wanted to intertwine the recipes and the stories. We really wanted it to be about expressing uh, what happens behind the scenes. So as someone's learning to bake in a specific recipe, what's going on with them? How are they growing? What are they dealing with? And a lot of these women, um, our graduates and our trainees, they really wanted to share kind of their stories specifically. Um, and it was more of an offering to them. And for our graduates and trainees, we were like, would you like to share your story? And almost every single one of them said yes. And so uh, the beauty of it intertwined is usually the recipe has something to do with their journey. There's a beautiful layer cake by Sarah um, alongside her story, which is a pistachio white chocolate and blackberry kind of layer cake. And it's decorated with loads of fresh fruit and herbs in our like signature luminary style. Um, and it's just a kind of perfect combo. Um, so yeah, that's probably one of my favorites. I have some other favorites like the cornbread muffins, which are really easy. I find like quick, easy because they're muffins. as the writers, we're working with several different contributors. So there's over 30 contributors within this, um, this cookbook. And so Rachel and I spent a lot of time together. <laughs> there's been a lot of phone calls and a lot of emails, but we, we started off with the, that big email out asking who wants to be a part of this? We want you to be within this. And once we gathered all those that are interested, the process definitely started. I can talk about my side of the process and Rachel has a completely different, because obviously I'm focused on stories, she's focused on recipes. Um, but my process was um, meeting with all the women that wanted to share their stories and interviewing them. And so it basically started with interviews, writing, getting the women to edit it, because one of the, one of the most important things to me was that they knew they had the opportunity to it to be curated by them. Yeah, yeah. So the stories, they got to be a part of the editing process before it even went to publishers. Yeah. And then it was gathering everything we had, what Rachel had gathered, what I had gathered, and then starting with post-it notes, a <laughs> lot of post-it notes. And in terms of recipes, yeah, we, like Kayla said, we emailed out and just were like, we want your recipes. Like we've got such talented bakers um, we've got such a kind of inventive and creative trainees that have come up with their own kind of recipes and inventions. Actually, like, we just we want them. Um, and so they sent them all in um, and then we started test baking them. So I've made every single recipe in this book at least once, most of them multiple times, just to like double check they're kind of foolproof. Um, 
and that was just so much fun I think you <laughs> so often you have like your taste and like this is what I do and this is what I like making but for me it was like a really kind of stretching experience as well because I was making loads of things I would never normally kind of make or had never made before like there's one in there um which are called Birek um, and they're from one of our graduates um, and she actually sells them in our cafes mm. um, and they're like this Albanian flaky pastry mm. with spinach and feta and they're like amazing mm -hmm. I never heard of them before and so to be able to kind of try those recipes is yeah really kind of fun and exciting um, and then yeah editing process starts <laughs> and you kind of have to get them all into the same format um, and make sure yeah they're kind of easy to follow Yes. Well, our website definitely has all the different places uh, that uh, Americans, North Americans can purchase it. Head to the website, uh, make sure you get your copy today and also check out uh, just what Luminary Bakery are doing. They've got their mission and, and all the team there on the website. So you can definitely check it out. Thank you so much for being here today and sharing that. Congratulations on all the work that's gone into this book. It is absolutely stunning and uh, I can't wait to buy for all my friends for uh, Christmas and holidays because I think that it's going to be a really special thing for everyone to have. So thank you so much for being here with us today.